Welcome everybody. I uh, don't really know how to begin this video, so just feast your eyes on the beauty. Shadows are finally a thing in mind test. Well, I mean, they sort of are. So obviously they're here. Uh, you have to get a dev build. So as of it was merged, what's today's date anyways? June 6th is the date of the recording here. It was merged June 6th. Uh, you will have to grab a dev build in order to experience this. But I am currently on uh, my Epic server. I don't know what server or what my test version the server is running, but that is not important. This is 100% on the client. So all you need is a new enough version and you can have beautiful shadows. So let's, let's run around and uh, look at some shadows because what else would we do in a video entitled shadows are finally in mind test i need to find some place with some shadows though so we can look at them hey look at this hey these are blueberry leaves in the trees interesting who cares let's not look at the trees let's look at the shadows oh i have a shadow too um i was the wrong button to hit uh let's try to get time of day is kind of kind of bad for seeing the shadows right now i believe yeah we'll have to wait for the let's say i thought your wield item would cast oh there we go i just have to change what direction i'm looking so if you're holding something in your hand and you're using a mod that supports it um in this case we have 3d armor and i think that's what provides the image of what you're holding in your hand not 100 percent sure you also have some self-shading uh there's some there's some artifacts yet uh this does require some further tweaking but it's here improvements can always be made in the future waving plants well i can't really tell if that's the shadow from the waving plant waving or if it's just the smoothening on it let's uh run inside this building okay that's uh it's not a good building look at this room ah oh, there's too many lights up top i need some place that doesn't have a ton of lights oh here we go we have some shadows coming through the glass up there oh i know the perfect spot to go to oh the wall might be an issue okay so my shadow is getting pretty long that way so we should hopefully Where would these shadows even be? Or the sunlight, I guess. Okay, I'm not getting any lighting through there. D is kind of disappointing. Not to worry, though. We can, uh, we can build something to do this. And that's actually probably the best way. So this is... I don't actually know. PSM, I want to say. Shadow mapping. I have no idea what that actually means. Um, I believe 0x Liso is the uh, the person who got it implemented. I'm sure they didn't actually invent the technology that's used behind it. Okay, so these items have slight shadows. There must be lights. Yeah, go away. There we go. Now we can see the shadows much better. So the shadows are dynamically generated based on the actual physical mesh items. So you can do things like this and have these shadows stack upon each other and cast shadows onto each other. And I can cast a shadow and I think I can have a shadow cast upon me as well. Uh, let's try to get a view where we can yeah, yeah, that, no, please, no. Oh, wait, well, now I could just go stand over here with these trees. And there we go, the shadow is creeping up my body, which, yeah, that's kind of what a shadow would do. So that's Nito. I want to show this one thing. This might not work right. So you cast it. It's very difficult to tell. I have a shadow on the surface of the water. And there's a shadow on the 
ground below the water as well. Um, uh, it'll probably be more visible up here. Yeah, this is much better. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Shadow on the ground below, shadow on the surface of the water as well. I don't know if that's, you know, just a side effect or if that was something that actually required extra work to get done, but very nice touch. We have some long, stretchy shadows from the end of the day. Let's go around someplace where there's uh, some more stuff where the shadows could actually be more interesting. There's not a lot of stuff here. The reason I'm doing this on a server is because there's plenty of content built. So there should be plenty of things to look at. Uh, sure, let's go over to the Boar's Head Inn. I suppose it's as good a place as any. No, this is a bad place. Let's go to let's go to the post office. That's better. We have lots of stuff here. So let's try to find a shadow someplace. The shadows do uh, kind of get canceled out from lights, as one would as one would expect, because that's just what lights do. Here we've got some shadow. Of course, now it's kind of nighttime falling. Yeah, so we would expect to have long shadows, which we do. But again, lights kind of make the shadows not exist. You know, I wonder what little... I'm sure they would do the same thing. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look at some of the settings and how you actually enable this. You over the settings tab, hopefully my cursor is getting recorded. And as long as you have a dev build that is new enough, again, it was merged June 6, 2021, or at the next stable release, it'll be here as well. There's an option here for dynamic shadows. I have not changed any of the shadow stuff yet, so the default is medium. Let's just go to ultra high ones, and I'm just going to go a local game for this, just to see what an ultra high quality shadow looks like. I don't really know what I'm expecting to be different here. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting this to be different, but my FPS is now at 30. Let me put it back to medium, seeing as how we didn't have that visible on the server. But I'm pretty sure it was running at 59.60. There we go, 60 frames a second. Let's go look at the shadow under these trees again. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little uh, more, a little more less quality, a little lower quality. But not bad, not bad. And again, I'm still getting 60 frames a second, which is my normal uh, frame rate. Adds due to the fact my monitors max out at 60 hertz, so I believe that's what the case is, anyways. All right, let's try putting it to lower, very low, just to see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, that that definitely is very low. Um. Although I suppose it's not the worst in the world. I mean, that's, that's very doable. I could play with it like that. It almost looks like it's a stylization thing. The way that nothing's square. It's kind of all super rounded edges and stuff. I mean, if I didn't know this was a very low setting and that there was something that looked higher, I would just think this was a stylization thing. Of course, with this sort of a texture pack, not quite so much, but with a more cartoony texture pack, 100% would think that was intentional. There are more settings, though. I'm just going to put this back to medium. So if you want to get to the rest settings, you have to go to all settings. You know, I don't actually know where you find that in here. Um, I usually just search because who wouldn't? Uh, dynamic shadows. Okay, so your drop downs are going to be controls, in game, dynamic shadows, and you have enable dynamic shadows, which you would do on the main menu is enabling it. And then these are your defaults. So shadow strength is 0.2, uh, map 
max distance so nodes 350 nodes away can cast a shadow the shadow map texture size this is um pretty much the size that the shadow map is rendered as as it says here um, i set this up to whatever the 8000 number would be so four times as much uh, and i maxed up my ram <laughs> so maybe don't do that shadow filters does a soft shadow okay well let's go ahead and set the two just cuz shadow map color I don't really know what that one does and doesn't tell me anything more the update time so now oh well point two is your max so the shadow you saw how it kind of was jerking along when the Sun was moving if we set it to point one it'll make the motion smoother of course it's going to be uh... oh nice it's going to be a bit more resource intensive I'm going to set this to 5. Lower values mean sharper shadows. Bigger value, softer. I like soft shadows. Shadow sky body orbit tilt. Sets the tilt of the sun, moon, orbit in degrees. I don't really know what that means. Or why you would necessarily want to do that. Shadow map texture 32-bit. Yeah, not really sure what that is either. Okay, so you can do this. I'm assuming one is our cap, which should be pure black shadows. Let's just see. We should have super dark shadows. Wow, this is, this is horrific. <laughs> Who would do this? You would have to be some kind of a monster. This is absolute rubbish. This is unplayable. Also, uh, 12 frames a second, not, not quite fun. All right, let's uh, maybe drop this down to 0.3. And I think maybe my soft shadow radius is probably what was, what was borking that out. So we'll set it uh, quite a bit lower. It still isn't super playable, 16 frames a second. Yeah, I don't. I mean, there it looks nice. There being here, like that looks nice. But there's so much jitter, I would not recommend. That comes obviously, the not recommending bit comes obviously with the understanding that your computer will you know, be different than my computer. I have a lot of cores, but low core speeds. So, and because my test doesn't really do multi-threading too much, yeah, that's, that's kind of gonna be the reason. All right, I think I set all that back to what it should be at. Let's, let's go ahead and try this out. There we go, 60 frames a second. Sustained 59, hitting into 60, very playable, very nice, very nice. Now what we need to do is find some floating islands. Okay, because this is preferably not floating islands above water, but you know, that that would be okay too I suppose because you can get shadows on the ground from floating islands above you now of course the floating islands have to be uh, generated in so it might help if I'm high enough where I would actually get some of those also I don't know if they were enabled in this world so it might be a waste of time but it's not really a waste of time because we can still admire the beauty of the shadows why do these not have shadows? Oh wait, now they have shadows. As I get closer, the shadows appear. Interesting. Could be. Now if I could just... Ah, hey, look at that! <laughs> Can I zoom? Yeah, yeah. I got a shadow on the bottom of the water. Cool. I'm just, you know, running along underwater. No big deal. Don't mind me. Here's my shadow. 
on the ground. <laughs> Does it get it gets bigger as it's closer? Hey, nice. Hey, perfect. This is I mean it's kind of small, but it's it serves the point. A little floating island. It's got its shadow down here. That could be up to 350 nodes in the air with current settings, and it would still cast a shadow. Of course, it would have to be rent, uh, uh, generated into the world, and it would have to be cached into your client. If it's up in the sky and that map block hasn't been sent to you, you obviously won't see a shadow from it because the client doesn't know it's there to cast a shadow for it. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Real time shadows in mind test with the latest dev build as of June sixth, twenty twenty one. Uh, I'd give you a time, but I I don't know what time. All I know is it was merged into master. If you're using the uh, if you're on Linux and you're using the Ubuntu daily PPA. Uh, you should have this by the time the video goes live in the daily build. Um, otherwise, obviously, by the time this video goes live, you can download the code and compile yourself. And if you're on a platform or you just don't want to do your own compiling, um, there's a fairly decent chance, I would think, that you can visit the builds thread on the forum and probably find a build for your architecture that has the shadows enabled. Um, with this being such a new feature, uh, there are still some quirks and bugs to work out. So if you see anything that you think uh, probably shouldn't be the way it is, please file a bug report so improvements can be made, like some of this flickering on the uh, the arms and stuff. There's some other things that I've seen reported. I'm not seeing it happen, so that may have been fixed. Something with uh, on edges of nodes, sometimes the shadows don't really work right. But uh, yeah, all in all, excellent work to everybody involved. I know, as I mentioned before, it's 0x Liso, I believe, or Lisa. I should really check. Uh, 0x Liso. It is PSM, yes. Um, did this a lot of reviewers a lot of people that helped out with the code and stuff involved so huge thanks to everybody involved with getting this into the engine this is uh quite the nice feature and running at this quality with no noticeable what's what i'm looking for here it runs just as smooth with it turned on or with it turned off at default values so that's that's incredible uh future videos on this channel you're going to be seeing shadows so yay for shadows oh hey here's the edge case so you can see that little spot right along the edge of the node there from the dirt to the sand where there's not a shadow um that's been reported already but clearly is still an issue I don't know what causes it. I know nothing about any of this, by the way. I just should probably mention that if you have any technical questions about it, don't don't leave them in the comments because I do not know <laughs> any of the answers. I have absolutely no idea how this works. All I know is it's quite impressive and I'm quite happy that it has been merged. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.